Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Advanced Weapons plugin. Now, this is a really cool plugin which adds new weapons, it adds machines, and a little economy to your server as well. So, we're going to go through all the different cool features of this plugin. So, first of all, if you want to do the command for slash advanced weapons and then pages, that's going to show you a list of the commands. So, first of all, if we do forward slash dust, that's going to bring up a GUI. This is our dust bank. Now this is what we use to purchase various weapons, machines, enchantments, etc. So you can see I can purchase dust up here either using XP, which I don't have, or I can use money, so $100, and obviously you can change these amounts if you want to, um, but those are the default ones. Now if you don't have any of that, you can trade dust for gold ingots. Now I do have a couple of those, so it's a one-to-one -one trade, so if I click trade with it, it will get rid of my gold and give me dust. Now what I can do here is either withdraw one dust or all of the dust that I have and then you can also deposit dust, either one or all of it uh, by right clicking and as you can see I now have 3,967 dust in my bank. Now I can um, go ahead and get some more using a command. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do the forward slash dust give an amount, let's go with maybe a thousand and then my username, that's going to give me a thousand dust into my inventory and then I can either spend it or put it in my bank. So let's go ahead and buy something with this dust. So if we do forward slash weapons, that's going to bring up the GUI and list all the cool new weapons and as you can see, there's six of them and we can go ahead and purchase them for various amounts of dust and then we can see all the cool features that they have. So the first one we've got is the destroyer sword. So this has got some pretty cool enchantments Then we've got an ax, which is pretty similar. And if I spawn some cows, you can see these cows are no match for my spicy weapons. There is also the dropper. So this is a pretty interesting stick weapon. And as you can see, it runs out after five uses. Same with the fireball launcher. So we can launch five fireballs and then it will disappear. So we've got one left. Um, so let's shoot it at this poor cow here and it disappears. Then we've got the skeletal sword as well. So this is another weapon that we have. And finally we have a snowball in the form of an ice chunk as the final special weapon that we can get. So those are the default weapons that we can have. But if you have armor or weapons of your own, you can give them pretty cool enchantments. So I'm going to just grab a sword and a chest plate. And then all you need to do is for slash CE, that's going to bring up the custom enchantments page. And as you can see, there's a long list of custom enchantments. It tells you what each of them do and it tells you how much dust each of them cost. So I think this is a really cool system where you obviously mine for gold and then convert it to dust and then use dust to buy whatever you want with it. And you can see I've got plague, tolerance and we've got rush as well on the sword. So you can put multiple uh, attachments on each sword, which is pretty cool. So the next cool feature of this plugin is the 4 slash machine. So this will bring up a GUI where you can buy two different machines. So there's the portable and there's the auto miner. Obviously make sure you've got enough dust, so you need 10 dust and 40 dust. So once we've bought these, we can go ahead and test them out. So the portable, as the name would suggest, allows you to take this wall anywhere. So go ahead and right click it anywhere. It will build a little wall. And then if you don't want it anymore, you can just left click and that will get rid of it like so. Um, so that can be pretty handy if you're being chased by some awful creature or person. And then we've got the auto mine out. And what that's going to do is just automatically mine stuff for you. So if you right click, um, you will see it is currently red at the moment. So this is currently going to start mining and getting items. But if we look at the one that we had previously, we can right click this and we can see that it's mined some diamonds. We can click to take those out. And if you take anything out, it's going to take out one bar of fuel. So just be aware of that. And there we go. So we've taken all of these items that is mined automatically. Um, and there we go. And you can see the other machine is now working as well. It's gone yellow. So another interesting command is the forward slash coin flip command. Now, maybe you're doing some sort of PvP battle or something. You might need to virtually flip a coin in Minecraft. And you can do coin flip their username. So it will bring up a GUI. And then you can either accept or deny. And as you can see, I just did one with myself, um, so obviously I couldn't possibly win or lose that. I both lost and won. As you can see in chat, I was both heads and tails, and then I won and lost. So that is a pretty cool, uh, simple feature of this plugin as well. So that is pretty much everything in the plugin. It's really fantastic, got some cool features, it's got a really cool economy system, and I really like it. So here we are on the Advanced Weapons Spigot page, and as you can see, it's updated from 1.8 to 1.16. 
uh, we've got all the different features here and there is a website as well and that will just tell you a bit more information about everything with this plugin uh, but if you want to download it feel free to come over here and if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time